Hello, you up? Yes? You up? I'm afraid this is a cold call. Do you want to hang up first? No, go ahead. Thank you. Let me tell you in 30 seconds why I'm calling. Then you can decide whether to hang up or invite me in to meet you. Fair? Yeah, that sounds fair. We help technology business owners in the Thames Valley who are frustrated because their salespeople have a weak or empty sales pipeline. Others tell us they're meeting plenty of decision makers, but their salespeople aren't closing. A few tell us they're closing, but their salespeople are discounting and over-servicing to win and keep the business. I don't suppose any of these are familiar to you and your business, are they? Yes, they are, unfortunately. Of the three things I mentioned, not meeting decision makers, not closing, or discounting and over-servicing, which one do you want to talk about first? It would have to be meeting and not enough decision makers and inconsistent filling of the pipeline. That's interesting. I hear that a lot. Why did you pick that one? Well, a lot of people keep telling me uh, they need better leads. I buy them data, but the pipeline always stays weak. That's not unusual. Do you know why your pipeline stays weak despite the fact you are providing them with suitable data? Because they're not prospecting enough. Or if they are, they're just not very good at it. Why do you believe that is? They're not, uh, they just don't like doing it. No one likes making cold calls, do they? It's very common, Europe. Call avoidance, excuses, blaming and not taking responsibility. Why do you feel they are able to get away with doing this? Probably because I sympathise with them. I remember how much I hated doing it when I had to make cold calls. How do you feel about the fact you are paying them to do this as a core part of their job and then they aren't doing it? Frustrated. Huh? I missed that. Frustrated and worried. Frustrated and worried. I can understand that, but it isn't costing you money or holding you back from achieving your targets this year, is it? Uh, Well, I suppose it actually is. But not by much. Well, we're 40% behind where I wanted to be at this point this year. 4%? Doesn't sound like much. No, no, 40%. Sorry, my mistake. 40%. Hmm. How much did that translate into lost revenues? We're turning up to 620k. I was expecting to be over 850 by now. How much? 850. So you're telling me this problem with the inconsistent pipeline is costing you about £250,000 already this year. Is that correct? Yes. That's a lot, isn't it? Uh, Well, I'm not sure. When does your financial year end? September. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six months left. So would it be fair to say that if you don't fix this problem soon, it might cost your business half a million pounds? Uh, It could. Have you got your diary handy? Yes. What day are you looking at? Uh, Why? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I thought you wanted to fix this problem with your pipeline. Isn't it costing you 500k this year? Uh, Did I misunderstand how important this is to you? Um, fair enough. Uh, how about next Tuesday? Sorry, you were. Tuesday is tricky. Give me another date, but don't pick Friday. Um, how about the following Monday? What time? Morning's best for me. Actually, I know I won't be able to make that because of another commitment Monday morning. Can, I can't ask you for another date. L- let's go back to Tuesday. What time are you thinking? Uh, what about 2pm? I may be able to make that. Be- before I confirm, I have an internal meeting where people are travelling up to see me. Before I move that around to accommodate you, is there any reason you can think of that might cause you to cancel or cut our meeting short? No, I can confirm that now. And you definitely won't cancel? No, if I give you my word, I will stick to it. Great. Let's say 2pm to 3.30pm. Is that okay? Yep, in my diary now. Great. Do you need directions? Uh, I thought you were coming over to me. Can I be up front with you, Ewart? This is a test of how important fixing this problem is for you. If it's not worth taking time out of your diary to come up to our offices, what do you think the chances are that we will end up doing business over this issue? Uh, fair point. Can you send me a postcode uh, when you send me over the calendar invitation? Gladly. 
Before I hang up, can we agree an agenda and some ground rules? Uh, yes. What would be a good use of the time we have together? What would you have to see, hear, or have happened by the time we are finished for you to say, that was an excellent use of my time, I'm glad I made the effort to come up and see you? Well, I'd need to know if you can help me fix the prospecting problem, how much it's going to cost me, and what I need to do to get my people making effective calls and getting in front of more decision makers. Great. And supposing we get to the end, to the end and we have ticked all of your boxes, what happens then? I guess we go ahead and get started. Which means... I'll hire you to help us. Sounds good. I want you to know that if we don't tick all your boxes, or you don't like what you are hearing, then I'd be fine with a clean, qualified, no thanks. Not everyone likes our approach and not everyone is right for us. Either side can say no at any time without any pressure or hard feelings. Is that reasonable? Yep, that's just how I like to work. Great, so we'll see you at our offices on Tuesday 2 to 3.30pm and I'll confirm with the calendar invitation now. And neither of us will cancel short of a death in the family or being hospitalised. Fair? Yep, looking forward to it. Me too, goodbye. Uh, before you go, can I ask you your name and how old you are? I get that a lot. Why do you ask? You sound very young. My name is Anna. I am 11. This is my first day cold calling. My dad taught me and he'll be running the meeting. What does that tell you about the excuses your salespeople are making about cold calling, being tough and not working? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing you both on Tuesday. Thanks, Hewitt. I'm going to hang up now, but before I do, can I ask a favour? You are in business and know other people in business. When you come, could you bring the names of four or five people you know who have a sales force may be struggling with some of the issues we talked about. And if you're comfortable, we might talk about you referring them once you're happy we're as good as you are hoping we are. Yes, Anna, I'll do that for you. Thank you. See you next Tuesday at two. Bye. Bye.